hi everybody welcome back to my channel my name is jane on today's video i'll be showing you how to make an a-line maxi dress with a beautiful neck design on it okay so if you want to learn how to do this watch this video to the end and if you're new to my channel on this channel i upload button drafting and sewing tutorial kindly subscribe if you're not yet subscribed and ensure to leave a comment and put on your notification bell so that anytime i upload a new video you'll be the first to be notified now this is a picture of what we'll be making you can see this neck design on it this is what i'm going to be recreating in this video i have uh, my sleeve pattern with me that is what i'll be working with i already did a detailed um video a tutorial on how to draft a basic sleeve long sleeve pattern i have two variations so i'll put the link in the description box so that you can check it out okay and that is the pattern i'll be working with and also i have my basic bodies of the shoulder to the hip line i have that which is beginner friendly and i also have a basic bodies with a side that so i'm going to leave the link in the description box as well but the pattern i will be working with for this video is the basic bodies from the shoulder to the hip line so these are all the patterns that i'll be working with so to ensure that this video doesn't get too long we will not be drafting from beginning we'll be using our existing pattern so if you want to see that pattern drafting i'm going to leave the link in the description box to ensure that you watch that before coming to watch this part now to begin with on the front part of my pattern uh, paper that's for the basic bodies of the front i'm going to do some alteration to it so that it will accommodate the design that i'll be working with for the stress now on my waistline i'm going to come down by five inches and i'll place a mark at that point so but basically what i've just done here is to mark out indicate the points on my pattern paper okay on my bodies i'm going to just indicate what each of the lines that i have there on my pattern and then from the waistline down to where five inches is i'm going to place a mark at that point right so now that i have a mark below my waistline five inches below my waistline we will take we'll go up to the shoulder line now on my shoulder line i'm going to place a mark at um, half inch away from my armhole line and then from that point i'll be connecting that point to the five inch that i marked below my um waistline so i'm just going to place my straight ruler now and i'll connect a slant line from that point that's half an inch away from my armhole line uh, from that point i'm going to connect all the way to the mark that i made below my um, waistline so just pay attention to this part and just see the way i connected the two points and i also slanted the line so now that i've gotten these lines now next thing i'm going to do is to cut out this line that i i made on my pattern okay so i'm just going to use my scissors to go ahead and cut out this pattern all right so this is just all the modification that i'll be doing for this pattern so after cutting it out this is what it is i have two separate parts for the front bodies and i'm going to be transferring this on my fabric and also i'll be transferring my sewing allowance on it as well now moving on this are uh, the fabric that i'll be working with i have the black which is the main fabric the red is for the ruffle in front and the other fabric is for the main design so now i have this fabric here the next thing i'll take my pattern and i'll place it on my fabric the main fabric and i'll add my sewing allowances all around it now when i get to the hip line i'm going to increase it by one and a half inch so i'm going to be increasing the sewing allowance by one inch 
when I get to towards the hip line and down to the hemline. Now for the bottom of this dress, for the hemline of this dress, I measured what I have on my hip line and, and I added extra 6 inches to it and from there I connected from the hip line down to the hemline. So now I have all of my markings from the shoulder down to the hemline and the sides and also at the front. Next I will just use my scissors to cut out this pattern. So now that I'm done cutting out the pattern, I'm just going to open it up to show you what it looks like, the main fabric. Now for the middle part, that's the for the center of this um, fabric, I'll place the paper on the fabric that, that I want to be on the front part, the design that I want on the front part and then i will add my half an inch sewing allowance all around it and i will cut it out it's as simple as that so that's what i'll do now I'll just go ahead and cut out the fabric after i have placed my sewing allowance on it so now that i've cut it out i'm going to place it side by side on each other so that you will see what i am getting at the, the design that i'm getting at okay so yeah guys that is it for the front and i will do the same thing for the back basically i'll just place my pattern for the back on the fabric and i will just go ahead and cut it out the way i did for the front i added my sewing allowances as well so moving on to the sleeve now, I just went ahead to reduce the length of my sleeve because I don't want it to be a long sleeve and the length that I have here is 17 inches okay and for the bottom of the sleeve I'm going to be doing a turn up for, with a different fabric so the fabric I'll be using I've gone ahead to cut it the width that I cut out was um, 5 inches for the width and the base of the turn up is the base of my sleeve that's the sleeve opening for my sleeve so that's what i've just done there and then i'll also place my notches at the left and the right side of the sleeve so that we know which part is the right and which part is the left when we are joining the sleeve to the main bodies so now i'll take off my pattern and this is what our sleeve looks like okay so i'm going to just place the um, turn up that I just cut out for my sleeve. So when I sew this on my sleeve, this is what it will end up looking at. I will sew the top and I'll also sew the bottom as well. So that fabric is going to be covering that side of the sleeve. So this dress is going to have a pocket. I've cut out four pieces for my pocket, two on both sides. Okay, and this is an inseam pocket. I did a video on how to draft an inseam pocket. I'll leave the link in the description box. Not necessarily this design, a different design, but it all works. So I'm going to leave the link in the description box. Now for the pleats that I'll be attaching in front to form the design. I ended up cutting as much as I had fabric for length I can't really say I I had a specific amount of length I just cut out a lot and then for the width I had five inches half inch for sewing allowance because I'm going to be folding it into two so when you fold it into two you're going to be having two and the half inch okay so the half inch is going to be for the sewing it joining it to the, the front uh, bodies so the length you can cut as much as you need for the design for the splits in front now starting off for the sewing i'm going i have gone ahead to cut out another piece for the front and the second piece would be for the facing okay so i'll be using one for the main um, fabric and the other will be for the facing so i've just cut out two pieces for the front and what I'll be doing now is to join it together at the neckline. So I'll just go and sew the neckline by half an inch to join these two pieces. 
together so after i've joined them right sides facing each other i will only hold them down at the neckline i'll join the both of them at the neckline and then for the pleats now i've gotten my strips and i'm going to be pleating it from the from the first v from one side to the other i'm just going to be pleating this all around the design all around the front panel to ensure that the pleat goes all the way from top to from one end to the other so that's what i'll go ahead and do now and after pleating it down on it i'm going to sew it down with 0.25 inch so i'm going to pleat it down on the fabric and i'm going to use my pins to hold it so that it doesn't move around and after holding down with pins we are going to stitch down with 0.25 inch we are going to be stitching our v okay and let's just call it our v <laughs> we're going to be stitching the front design and the pleats together so we are going to be attaching the two of them together all right so now the ruffle and the front um, design has been attached together i have pleated it all around it and when you are sewing ensure that when you get to that v part you take it slowly because that part is going to kind of be a little bit difficult to maneuver so after i've attached the ruffle on my front bodies now the next thing we are going to do is to attach the main fabric to the ruffle so in order to do that the main fabric to the front design that's to the chest design and in order to do that we are going to be flipping um the main fabric to face the right side of the design so i'll be placing my main fabric right sides facing each other and i'm going to just hold it down with pins and i'm going to be running a stitch when you get to that corner that v corner you're going to be leaving your needle inside and you're going to continue stitching till you get to the other side of the main dress so that's what we are going to do right now okay so you stitch from one side placing them right sides facing each other okay right sides on top of each other we're going to stitch when you get to the corner where the v is you leave your needle inside and then you turn your fabric to continue stitching till you get to the other side of the fabric so here we have it guys the two piece has been attached and we have one single piece for the front panel now after i attached these two parts together i'm going to run a top stitch from top to bottom down to the top as well just so that the seam will relax inside properly and so that the design will also relax properly so i'll be running uh, a top stitch at the top to get to the other side of the shoulder so that's what i will do now and after i've run and stop stitch on it now we are going to be fixing our pocket so i'm just going to place my pocket on both sides and then i'll pin it down for the pocket i came down from my waistline by two inches for the pocket and then i just placed it right there so you do this for the front on both sides of the front and then also for the back as well so now i'm going to be attaching the facing for the back okay i have gone ahead to cut out my facing you can see that i already pinned it down on the back okay the back is separated into two because there's going to be a zipper at the back so i've cut out my facing and now i'm just pinning it down on the back okay for both of them and then i'm going to join them together so i'll be only joining it at the neckline so after joining the two pieces at the neckline we are going to be attaching the front and the back bodies together and in order to do that we are going to be attaching them at the shoulder line okay so we attach them at the shoulder line and the way we are going to attach it is that you're going to be placing the right side of the back on the right side of the front okay you can see that my facing for the back is not completely sewn on my shoulder okay so i'm going to be taking the right side of the front and the right side of the back place them right sides facing each other and then i'll grab the facing and then flip it over so that it covers the front okay so that it covers the 
front bodies and then i will take it to my sewing machine and i'm going to run a stitch on all of them so you can see how i just did it i flip my facing to the other side so that it covers the front bodies okay and then i'll just take it to the sewing machine and i'm going to run a stitch on it i'm going to run a straight stitch on it i'll do this for the first shoulder and i'll also do this for the second shoulder as well all right so now after i have stitched it down this is what we have you can see that the shoulder it there's no rough edges at the shoulder the all the rough edges is concealed inside the facing so that's what i've done for the both sides that's what i've done for the both shoulder seam so now after we've done this now the next thing we're going to be doing is to go up and sew up the sides of our dress so i'm going to just use my pins now to hold the sides the front and the back together and i'm going to run a stitch from the bottom straight till when we get to the part where you have the pocket you're not going to run straight because you're going to close the pocket so when you get to the part where you have the pocket you're going to turn your needle um, towards the direction of the po of the pocket and then you run your needle all around the pocket so ensure that your stitches goes around the pocket not straight off okay so just run your stitch all around the pocket and you keep doing that till you get to the top part of the pocket when you get to that part you continue to stitch all right you continue to stitch until you get to your underarm seam so that's what i've just done here now okay i'll do this for this side and i'll also do this for the other side okay so now i'm going to be attaching the zip at the back and i've placed the mark at where i want the zipper to stop the zip that i'm working with is 24 inch so i just used my tape to measure from the neckline down to the point where i want the zipper to stop at the back and i placed a mark right there and from that point to the hemline of the dress i'm going to stitch it up and close the back of this dress so that's what i've done right here now i did a, tuto a detailed video on how to fix um, zipper especially this type of zipper if you've not seen it i'm going to leave the link in the description box so that you can go check it out okay. so now working on the sleeve i have my sleeve right here and i also have the turn up that i'll be attaching to the sleeve so the way we are going to attach this is you're going to be placing the right side of the cutout that's the turn up on the wrong side of the sleeve so on the wrong side of the sleeve facing up you're going to be placing the turn up on top of it the right side of the turn up on top of it and you're going to be attaching the bolt by half an inch at that sleeve opening at the bottom of the sleeve so after attaching them this is what it should look like now you're going to now flip it to the right side of the sleeve so when you attach the two of them you flip it to the right side when you flip it to the right side this is what it will so right now we have the turn up on the right side of the sleeve so to do the next thing now to close off the edge of the turn up you're going to be folding it in by half an inch okay so i'm just going to fold it in now by half an inch and you can just go ahead and stitch it up right now or you can use your pressing iron to press it down so that the fold will stay in place so i've just pressed it down and i'm going to take it to the machine and i'll be stitching them up together so after stitching up i've attached the two pieces together this is what it looks like none of them is moving around and they've been attached together so after you've attached it you can see the sleeve opening is closed and clean as well so now you're going to be folding the sleeve over into two and you're going to be stitching by half an inch whatever seam allowance you left for your sleeve opening okay so i'm going to just go ahead and um, stitch my sleeve now from the underarm down to the point where the sleeve stop and after this this is what my sleeve looks like all right so now i'll just take this sleeve and attach it to my dress i've already attached one part of the sleeve i'll just go ahead and attach this part and after attaching this this is what the sleeve looks like okay all right so guys this is what the dress looks like in general i've also done the bottom of the dress 
as well guys if you like this video please subscribe and share like my videos give me a thumbs up and let's grow this channel together thank you for watching i'll see you in my next video bye